Hello, is this Casket Robbery? It is. Hey, man, how's it going? Is this Zach? Yeah, dude, what's going on, man? You're live right now on the Zach Moonshine Show. Oh, cool, man, we're live. All right, nice. Fuck yeah. So, awesome, uh, dude. So what the fuck is going on in the world of casket robbery, man? You guys fucking robbing caskets? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, we actually just got back from from a tour, um, um, and I'm actually going to hand the phone over to Megan here, our vocalist. Um, she's going to chat with you here. Right on, So dude. let me do that quick. Hello. Hello, Megan. Welcome to the Zach Moonshine Show. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Fucking great, man. We just got done blasting some fucking casket robbery, and my fucking ears are still ringing. Hold on one sec. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry. What was that? I said we just got done blasting some casket robbery, and my oh, ears... Oh, yeah. Yeah, my fucking ears are fucking bleeding, man. That shit was badass. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So tell us what's going on in the world of casket robbery. What are you guys up to? Uh, we actually just got home from a tour um, on really early Monday morning. So right now we're kind of just acclimating back to home life from that. Um, we went out with the convalescent and worldwide panic and had a blast. It was, it was a pretty short tour, one of the shorter tours that we've ever done, but it was a lot of fun. Nice. So tell us about the tour. What what uh, what kind of places did you guys play at? So we started out in Toledo, Ohio, um, made our way out to Brooklyn, um, and then we played St. Midas there, which was so amazing. Nice. Um, went to, like, upstate New York all the way up to Buffalo. We got to see Niagara Falls one of the days, so that was pretty fun. Um, and then kind of just made our way back here to Wisconsin, played a few, like, regional Midwest dates, and, and yeah, played a fun, like, metal festival in northern Wisconsin, like, all the way at the chip up there. That was a blast, too. It was, like, this huge, like, week-long camping festival that they have there, and it was a blast. Fuck yeah. So, uh, the album, The Ascension, tell us about that. How did you guys, uh, like, uh, well, actually, tell us about the band. I mean, how did this band actually come together? How long have you guys been doing this? So, the band was actually formed in, like, 2012, 2013 by Corey, who was just on the phone, and then the previous vocalist. Um, I jumped on about two and a half years ago, maybe a tiny bit over that, um, after the previous vocalist left, and originally, I mean, I jumped on, and then we were going to do this big month-long tour, like, a few months after that, and we decided that, you know, it was super important going out for so long um, to have something recorded with me on it. Um, so we really quickly put together the Ascension and got that out there and toured off of that. So, yeah. Hell yeah. And, uh, well, you know what? There's one thing I did notice about the Ascension that I thought was kind of cool. I've never seen it before, but I thought I'd ask about it. There's a bonus track on it called From Hell, but it's like track number two. <laughs> Yeah, Which, I've never seen that. Normally, it's it's at the very end, but it was like it's track number two, and I'm like, that's fucking cool. I've never seen that. I, I don't know, I don't know why. Yeah, so <laughs> that is actually a re-release of the Ascension that we did. It's, it's pretty limited. Um, we wanted to give our fans something um, with some of the newer stuff on there, so we just re-released the Ascension with our newest single from Hell on it. Um, which is the bonus track, and it kind of just flowed better throwing it in on the, on the second track. Yeah. So, so yeah, that why, that's why that one is there. Well, I think it's cool. I mean, it definitely caught my Thank eye. You. I was like, that's fucking cool. <laughs> but yeah. It's always it's cool to do something different, too. Right? Yeah, absolutely. 
But uh, as far as the name Casket Robbery, how did you guys come up with that? Is there a story behind it? Um, really, I think it was just Corey and, and the previous vocalist. They had kind of started it out as a side project and, and just, you know, having fun with it. And they were toying around with names, and that was one that came up. So it, it kind of just stuck from there. Right on. I got some questions from the chat room. Uh, Vicky Grandy wants to know, have you guys ever played in Canada, or are you going to? We have not played in Canada yet, but all of us have our passports now, and that's definitely a thing that we are planning on doing. Hopefully, um, within this next year, we've got a lot of things in the works, so hopefully we'll make it up through Canada. That's the plan. Nice. She also wants to know what's uh, one, what's one of your favorite places to play that you've played at. Oh, um, probably New Orleans. Um, that was that's a top one for me. Every time we go through there, um, I also really love New York. Uh, LA was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, those so far those are kind of my top ones. Oh yeah. Yeah, if you guys could play anywhere in the fucking world, where would you want to play? You know, I'd really, really love to make it over to Europe. Um, that's that's definitely on our radar, too, is to get over there. And I know, like, metal's quite huge over there. Um, plus, I really just want to go over to Europe. <laughs> um, so, so, yeah, that's, that's definitely a bucket list thing for me. Hell yeah. Uh, another question from the chat. Vicky also wants to know, what do you prefer, bubble baths or showers? Oh, so normally <laughs> I would definitely say showers, but I, like, got into all these, like, crazy little indie company bath bombs lately, and they're super fun, and they make, like, horror-inspired ones that turn the water crazy colors and are really weird, so... I'm going to go with bubble baths right now. Right on. There you go, Vicky. <laughs> All right. So uh, uh, tell us about, like, your musical influences. What got you into playing music? So I always, I've always um, been, been a singer since I was tiny. Um, and then, I don't know, probably uh, throughout high school and into my college years definitely got heavier into, like, the heavier side of metal, um, and before I was in this band, I was actually in a metalcore band where I, I sang about half the time and then screamed the other half, and I, I started, as I was learning how to scream correctly, um, I learned that I, I really enjoyed it a, a lot, and wanted to explore more of that and get heavier and heavier so um, when the opening and casket, casket came about I kind of jumped on that um, but yeah like I, I don't know I my musical taste kind of are, are quite vast um, I, I really dig like Behemoth um, Lamb of God Calma uh, Immolation really it, it kind of spans everything there's some I some of the core stuff I really like um definite guilty pleasure for me is like bless the fall which is really funny but I adore them um but yeah that's that's really speaking my of, kind of taste speaking of Lamb of God did you see that chick that did the uh the Lamb of God fucking song on the voice in Germany I did. I did. Someone tagged me at that the other day. <laughs> That's fucking yeah, crazy, really, huh? really, really rad. I always love those videos. Like, those kind of circulate every couple of years, whether or whatever country it's in. But, like, someone always goes on one of those, like, idol shows or the voice shows and, and does, like, a metal song. And, like, I just, it's, it's funny to me, like, how the, the, like, facial expressions of all the judges and stuff. Uh-huh. Um, always crack me up. Uh, that's fucking cool, though, that they do stuff like that overseas. Oh, yeah. Though, you know what I mean? Like, shit like that does not happen over here, man. I no, definitely not. I don't definitely know why, not. but it needs to. Yeah, definitely. 
Well, uh, you've, you've got a fucking killer voice, man. And speaking of, uh, you were talking about your previous band. Is there anything online that people can check out if they're interested? Oh, yeah. I mean, it was, it was a pretty, like, smaller local kind of thing. But, yeah, I was, I was in a band called Disappearance. Um, like, pretty much straight metalcore. Um, and I've, I've been on a few, like, singing studio projects. Actually, you can hear me on the... The first casket album, um, I sang the chorus of Night Stalker, and I'm actually the the little kid, creepy voice in Annabelle's house. Uh, that's me giggling and whispering, and so yeah, that all that stuff. Oh shit! Very cool. Um, another question: What's one of the craziest thing? That- things that you've seen happen at a show, either your own or somebody else's? Oh my gosh, uh, so many. <laughs> um, we played some very crazy shows. Uh, the one that probably sticks is this. I hope my mom is not listening to this. Mm-hmm. Um, at one of our shows um, this past summer, I actually, someone came up and handed me a Bible um, during our set, and I, uh, there was this, it was an outdoor festival, and it was a gigantic fire, and I, I threw the Bible in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was that, and another insane, and we did a tour, I, I don't know, a couple, some of the past few tours that we did, um, someone, like, threw a blow, a blow up doll on stage, and that was super weird. Um, and I've, I've never seen that. <laughs> and, and hopefully we'll never have that again, but... What did but you do with it? in my mind. Um, I think we kicked it back out into the crowd. <laughs> I mean, I think it eventually came back, and I don't... It was, it was a night. It was definitely a, a night there. <laughs> I think that was in... God, where even was that? I want to say it was in Kansas. <laughs> Fucking Kansas. <laughs> so, uh, well, another question. Uh, where do you guys see yourselves in about three years? Uh, let's see. Hopefully, um, you know, we've made it a point to, uh, the past couple of years, really every year do a little bit more touring, a little bit more every year. Um, so hopefully by that point, we are touring quite frequently. Um, this, hopefully we have like two albums out by then. I mean, our, our next full-length album is set to be released really, really early um, next year. Oh, so cool. we'll, we'll definitely tour off that one a little bit and push that one, but... Yeah, three years. Hopefully, we have we have more music out there. Um, hopefully, we are able to, you know, get out of the U.S. and to do a little bit of touring, which would be fantastic. Um, but yeah, that's what we're really focusing on. Like, we've kind of made a lot of fans and that have become really great friends to us all around the United States with these these full like circle U.S. tours that we've been doing um, the past couple of years, and it's really nice to just keep getting out there and, and going back and seeing all of them. Uh, this last tour that we, we just got off of, I, I was so surprised and, and appreciative every single night, because every single one of those shows, we had fans showing up in their t-shirts. Even in, in, in Brooklyn, I was I was so surprised that the guy caught me like mid set on stage, and I was like, "Dude, your shirt!" It was like a super old casket shirt, and um, so hopefully, you know, things just keep progressing. We're gonna keep grinding away like we always do. Get some new music out there, and and just coming around and hanging out with people. Hell yeah! Also, I wanted to ask you uh, about the uh, the combat records with fucking uh, David Ellison and shit, man. How did you guys get hooked up with that? Yeah, I mean, they we got thrown on uh, the contest that they were running at the time for the compilation, and you know we were chosen as one of the top ones. We made it through, and 
and we got lucky enough to make it through all of that compilation and and we can't say enough good things about combat and having us on there um that was right after we actually released the the ascension and right after i joined so that was a super fun thing um and then we got we got lucky enough this past to actually go and meet David Ellison and Tom and all of that and he's such a freaking great person um it was awesome that's really cool oh yeah and uh you guys have also had a lot of a lot of really good reviews and stuff uh, I was reading the promo you guys got attention from Kerrang we did yeah it's fucking badass man yeah, that was kind of out of nowhere. Um, our, uh, our PR company got contacted that they wanted to do an interview, and we were like, what? Um, and they, I filled out an interview with them, like, right away, and we didn't know what it was going to be for or when it was going to come up. And then I, I was at work one one Monday that it came out, and it popped up, and I, I just lost it. It was, it was great. They said such nice things about us and um we were so very appreciative it, it, it was really great what they did for us I we actually got to meet the guy that wrote it um out on the road this last tour and hang out with him and chat for a little bit and it was yeah just fantastic hell yeah another question from the chat uh what is your favorite drink my favorite drink Huh. Like alcoholic drink or just drink? I don't know. <laughs> she, she didn't specify. Um, I'm a huge, so I, I work in a coffee shop when I'm at home, and I so I drink a lot of coffee, a lot of, like, iced cold brew coffee. Um, I'm obsessed with coffee. Otherwise, I'm a very big fan of beer um, <laughs> and, and wine, definitely on the road. Um yeah those are my favorites oh yeah um as far as like the recording process for for the record and you, you said you guys have already got another record on the way is it already done or are you guys in the in the process of recording it um we're in the process of recording it right now um just about all of the songs are written for it it's going to be a full length um so we are spending the next couple months really um, getting that completed so that we can get it out early next year. But yeah, uh, we've been playing a few tracks off of it in our live set this last tour and, and the past probably like six, six months, um, which is kind of fun because we get to test those songs out before anyone else has even heard them on the album yet. So, so yeah, it's definitely coming. Hell yeah. And as far as the recording process for that goes, like how how what are you guys are you in a studio or you guys doing it on your own? Um, so we actually have a studio built into our house, um, with full setup, I full vocal booth, everything like that. So I record vocals here, um, and usually we have someone else in the studio record drums. Um, Corey usually records the guitars here and or in a, in a different studio in the area. Um, but yeah, we get all of that done and then we we ship it out to go get mixed and mastered. Nice. Well, the production value of this uh, EP sounds really fucking good. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's something that we really uh, take our time with and really put a lot of effort into to make sure that it sounds good enough. I mean, that's why it's kind of <laughs> taken a little bit longer than we'd like right now. Um, we really want to put something out there that we're proud of, like like just releasing um, From Hell that we did a few months back. Um, took our time with that, and, and yeah. Hell yeah. So for people out there listening, where can they go to find out more about Casket Robbery? Oh gosh, if you have any social media anywhere, um, we are on all of that. You can also go to casketrobbery.com. 
Uh, you can find us on Facebook at Casket Robbery, Instagram Casket Robbery. You can find my personal Instagram on there, um, which I tie in a lot with my Brave Witch brand and, you know, integrating that Casket Robbery. Uh, Twitter, really everything you can find us at if you're looking. And you guys are pretty active on social media, like you, people reach out to you, you'll... Oh, yeah, absolutely. And and if anyone's interested, we actually, this is really cool. On Facebook, we have our own little Facebook group. Well, it's not quite little anymore. Um, but we have a Facebook group. It's our Coven of Souls group. Um, it's really just, it, it, it initially just started as kind of a small thing and, and grew into this family, something that we, like, pride ourselves on are all the relationships that we make throughout all of this and making music and sharing it with everyone. Um, we've met some really, really awesome people and so we created this group and it's become this kind of safe space for everyone to share music, um, horror related stuff because we're, I mean, we're definitely a hugely horror inspired band. Um, if you hear any of our stuff, any of the lyrics, stuff like that. So, um, perks to being in the group is everyone gets to see merch first. I put a lot of my own stuff that I make up in there first. I show sketches that I'm doing in there first. We show any news about the band. Um, we do polls for merch. We do contests, all of that. So that's been a big thing for us is really just honing this this group and making it something really really fun um for everyone in it that's really cool what's the link for that so you can find it on our casket page on facebook or you can search the group it, it's just casket robbery coven of souls nice very cool very cool and it's cool because it's not us only sharing our music. Um, we, we constantly have people, um, you'll, you'll see right away if you join, um, people posting the music that they're into, sharing things like that. Um, and so it's, it's really, like, inclusive and and no, like, bashing anyone's stuff or anything like that. But it's become this really, really fun little group that we have. That's really cool. That's fucking Thank awesome. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Uh, another question from the chat. Have you ever been sick while on tour? Oh, my God, yeah. So, um, so the first tour that I did after I joined the band was, like, a little bit over a month. And two days before this tour, which is my first tour ever um, that I'm performing in, I've done merch on tours before, I get bronchitis. And... I had bronchitis for a good week and a half to two weeks on tour. And I tried everything under the sun to make myself better. And eventually, after after about the halfway point, um, we had two off days, I think. And I really was able to kind of just um, get back to myself. I was able to talk again. I, I spent really the first two weeks sleeping a whole lot in the van, just performing, not doing any banter, um, not talking to any of the other bands, which was really hard, um, and just babying my voice and, like, very strict vocal rest. So, yeah, uh, the good thing is I, I learned from that. I learned what to do if that happens again. Um, I learned how to take care of my voice and amping up to tour, like staying healthy and things like that. I mean, no one can ever predict what's going to happen and being sick and all that stuff, but at least I have some tools in my pocket now if it happens again. Hell yeah. Another question from the chat. Thunderous wants to know, what's your favorite food? My favorite food? Oh. Um. I would say pizza. Or I think I Corey's probably <laughs> laughing in the other room right now because I really, really <laughs> I could probably eat chicken tenders like forever. I never get sick of them because apparently I'm a <laughs> like six year old kid. Um, but yeah, those, those are probably my top two. <laughs> I was just about to say that that sounds like my kids. Right? That's all they want to eat. 
Pizza and chicken tenders. Pizza and chicken nuggets. Perfect. Yep. So, uh, so fucking... And you guys have a video out, too. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so that is, um... The one with me on it is our newest release. Um, came out a few months back. Uh, Decibel Magazine premiered it for us, which was super rad. Hell yeah. Um, it's our latest single called From Hell. Um, I wrote it really inspired by Jack the Ripper. And, yeah, it's just a really in-your-face, uh, brutal video that was just live shot of us. Um, we had a blast making it. We all were kind of dead by the end of filming it, but we had a blast. Oh yeah. So you guys are big fans of horror movies and uh, I take it serial killers too? Oh yeah, yeah. Just all of that. All of that stuff is such a huge inspiration for what we do. The, the serial killers really, more so on like the last album. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, I, I did just write a song about Jack the Ripper, so <laughs> it's still there. We, we even have a t-shirt um, since we're a Wisconsin-based band. Um, our t-shirt is an outline of Wisconsin, and it says beer, cheese, and serial killers. Nice. And then it has our logo, and, and that's a pretty big seller. It kind of stops people in their tracks as they're walking by looking at our merch table, so that's kind of nice, too. But, but, yeah, definitely things that Wisconsin is known for. Oh, yeah. What's uh, one of your favorite horror movies? Uh, my favorite is definitely Pumpkinhead. Oh, fuck yeah. Um... Yeah, that is that is my my top. Um, I know I we we're we're just real. Me and Corey, we're actually going to a uh, a drive-in festival tomorrow night for it's this horror convention every year puts this on and it it's a from dusk till dawn drive-in and they play horror movies all night. Um, so we're going to that tomorrow night, so that should be pretty fun. We go every year. That's badass. Yeah, Pumpkinhead is fucking cool. I just I just watched it the other day. I saw it on uh, it was on Netflix or something, man. I don't know. Yeah, I was it's so good. It. Yeah, that that is such a classic. That fucking that witch fucking is right? one of my favorite characters in that man. Yeah, <laughs> I I laugh because we have like some of the the sequels to it and there's like number four is like the Hatfields and McCoys and it's like they overdubbed like the voice or like like voiced over all of the speaking parts in it and it's so awful but it's so cheesy it's it's hilarious the monster's still cool as all shit but um it it is definitely so cheesy oh yeah Mm -hmm. As far as serial killers, have you ever checked out the last podcast on the left? I have. I haven't gotten into it as much as I, I really just try wise um, as much as I want to, but I have a lot of my friends talk about that podcast, and I've listened to a couple of episodes, so it's really, really cool. Yeah, it's, it's definitely time-consuming listening to some of that shit because it's so fucking long, but... Yeah, they they go in fucking deep on some of that stuff, man. Yeah. I was working a job not too long ago where they allowed us to wear our headphones while we were working, and that's what I did was I just downloaded a whole bunch of those fucking episodes and was just fucking oh, listening to so that cool. shit. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, that's so <laughs> it was, it was It was fucking crazy, though, because I'm like sitting there listening to these fucking crazy stories that they're telling about these fucking... You know these fucking murderers and stuff, and like yeah, all this crazy yeah. shit. And these people are like, you know, my coworkers are walking around me, and they're looking at me like I'm like, you have no idea what I'm listening to right now. <laughs> 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 Hell yeah! Right on. So, uh, so what's coming next for Casket Robbery? What do you want to let the people know? Um, really, we're just, we've got like one or two local shows this, this winter, but really we are locking down to finish up recording this album, and we've got some stuff in the works um, that we'll be announcing soon, um, but we are going to be hitting next year very hard. Um, 
we'll have all of this new music, uh, a lot of new stuff coming out, and we'll be hitting the road pretty heavily. So that's our plan. Um, but yeah, that's that's really what's coming up next. Hell yeah. I got one more question from the chat. Uh, what band? Yeah. What band would you love to play with in a movie? Oh, in a movie, I feel like Behemoth <laughs> because they're so theatrical. They are. Um, I feel like that'd be really, really cool. <laughs> they should make a movie. Or like Karak Avrin. That'd be super fun. <laughs> Hell yeah. I could totally see that. Right? <laughs> right on. Fuck yeah. Alright, well I'm about out of questions for you. Is there anything else you want to add? I don't think so. Definitely, definitely go check us out online. You know, join our group if you want to. Come be a part of our crazy little family. Um... We, we really, really love in connecting with people and making all of these new friendships are just like, music has brought that into our lives and we are so thankful and we love, love, love everyone that decides to come be a part of it. Hell yeah. Well, hopefully we'll send a whole bunch of people over there, man. Absolutely. Well, thanks a lot for taking the time to talk to us. Uh, before I let you go, i got to get you to make us a station tag, all right? Yeah, absolutely. All right, whenever you're ready, say something like, this is Casket Robbery, and you're listening to Metal Devastation Radio. Sure. This is Casket Robbery, and you are listening to Metal Devastation Radio. Fuck yeah. Thanks a lot, Megan. Thank you so much. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to blast some more Casket Robbery for these motherfuckers so they can go crazy. Rad. (laughs) You guys have a good evening, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. You too. All right, bye. Bye-bye. There you have it, folks. Casket Robbery live on the Zach Moonshine Show with Metal Devastation motherfucking radio. Like I said earlier, put your speakers in your fucking windows. Put them in your front lawns. Put them wherever the fuck you can to make your neighbors fucking hate you. If you don't see U-Haul trucks everywhere tomorrow, you fucking need new stereo equipment or you need a fucking set of balls for God's sakes, man. I'm not fucking joking, dude. I'm not fucking around. Reach out and grab your volume knob right now and turn it all the fucking way up so that my voice is fucking distorted. Crank it the fuck up, man. Metal Devastation Motherfucking Radio. This is Casket Robbery.